I can get that number till the public office opens. When will that be? 8.30 on Monday morning. <laughs> Yes, ma'am, lady. I'm absolutely positive. This is the checkerboard cab company. My, what a day this is turning out to be. Hi. I'd like to introduce myself. I'm... Uh... I know who you are. you Hazel Burke. How did you know that? Watch you bowl in that last tournament. Man, what form. Oh, well, thanks. I'm Miss Brady. I'm Harry's brother. Well, Harry's one of our best bowlers. I'm pleased to meet you, Mitch. Oh, the pleasure's on mine, Hazel. This is a nice cab company you got here. Well, I ain't got but five cabs, but I'll be adding to the fleet pretty soon. That's what makes America such a great country, enterprising men like you. You like uh, donuts? Love them. Well, I brought you a dozen, homemade. Hot from the deep fry. Now, why are you giving them to me? Well, I have this terrific favor to ask you. What kind of favor? Why don't you try one of the donuts first? Now, that's what I call a donut. And here's some hot coffee to go along with it. Thanks. You've been getting a lot of phone calls today from people that didn't want cabs, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Well, because those calls have been either for me or for the Baxters. Well, how come? Well, to boil it down to bones, we lost a little card with our new phone number on it, and we've been giving your number out by mistake. Yeah, I'm with you so far. And now we can't get our right number till Monday. You mean this is going to go on till Monday? Yeah, why don't you sit down and drink your coffee and enjoy yourself? <laughs> if you was to string along with us, we'd certainly appreciate it. Uh, what do you mean, string along, Hazel? Well, I mean, uh, take our messages. Oh, you mean, if any messages come here for you the Baxters, you want me to take the message, huh? You certainly must have gotten good marks on your report cards at school. What makes you say that, Hazel? You got such a quick mind, it's just like a steel trap. Well, thanks, Hazel. Of course, we wouldn't expect you to do it without compensation. What would you say to ten cents a message? Is that fair enough? Sure, sure, that's okay with me. Oh, you're a doozy, Mitch. And I'll be dropping by every hour or so to pick up the messages. Hazel. Mm hmm? I got a message for you right now. Oh, yeah? What? How would you like to go to moving pictures with me tonight? Double horror bill at the arcade. Yeah, I know. I was going with my friend Rosie. But if you don't mind taking the both of us. Oh, the more the merrier. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here's another message for you, Mr. Baxter. Your tailor said to be sure and tell you that he can't let those pants out any further around the waist, that he's let them out of the Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> See, that's uh, 15 messages all told. Well, at 10 cents a call, that means I owe you $1.50. Oh, no, Mr. Baxter. Eight of them calls was for Hazel. <laughs> and I sure don't want to charge her none. Ain't he nice? <laughs> sure is. Uh, that'd be 70 cents you owe me. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, here you are. Uh, thank you, Mr. Baxter. By the way, my relief man's on duty if you want to check in during the evening. I can't tell you how much we appreciate your help, Mr. Brady. Oh, that's okay, Miss Baxter. Uh, before you go, I'm afraid I'd like to ask another favor of you. Oh? Well, it was uh, Hazel's idea. You see, Mr. B's expecting an international phone call from London tomorrow. London? Oh, she's London, England, where they keep the Big Ben. Oh? <laughs> It's a very important call, so if you don't mind, I'd like to go down to your office the first thing in the morning and wait for it. Oh, that's okay, Mr. Baxter, but be sure and bundle up good, because we ain't got no heat down there, and it gets pretty chilly in the morning. Uh, shall we? Oh, sure. Oh, would you put these in my room? <laughs> good night, folks. Bye. Good night. <laughs> well, we better change if we're going to the dance. Oh, I don't think we're going to the dance, George. Why not? Well, what time do you plan on being at the cab office? Nine. No, to be on the safe side, I think eight. Well, there's a time difference between here and London, darling. Six hours. Oh, no. <laughs> that means two o'clock. That's right. Oh, honey, we better forget about the dance. I'm going up and get a good night's nap. <laughs> George, I'll be up in a minute to tell you a bedtime story. Well, I hope it's not the one about the man who once upon a time decided to get an unlisted number. <laughs>